Our Father, who art in heaven, please open our eyes that we may see your word the way you would like for us to see your word. And let's apply it to our heart, body, and mind. And Lord, if there's anybody sick, please touch them because you're the healing master of everything in this world. And we do love you so. And we all ask this in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Let's grab our basic instructions before leaving earth and let's see what the Creator, Father God, has in store for us today. I got Audrey and Chaos here. I'm going to try to read while they're here. They're being quiet right now. So we're on Mark 12. And he began to speak it to them by parables. A certain man planted a vineyard and set a hedge about it, and digged a place for the wine fat, and built a tower, and let it out to husbandmen, and went into a far country. And at the season he sent the husbandman a servant, that he might receive from the husband the fruit of the vineyard. And they caught him, and beat him, and sent him away empty. And again, he sent unto them another servant. And at him they cast stones, and wounded him in the head, and sent him away shamefully, handled. And again, he sent another, and him they killed, and many others, beating some, and killing some. Having yet therefore one son, his well-beloved, he sent him also, least unto them, saying, They will receive my son. But those husbandmen said among themselves, This is the heir, come, let's kill him, and the inheritance shall be ours. And they took him, and killed him, and cast him out of the vineyard. What shall therefore the Lord of the vineyard do? He will come and destroy the husband, and will give the vineyard unto another. And have ye not read the scripture, the stone which the builders rejected has become the head of the corner? This was the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in his eyes, in our eyes. And they sought to lay hold on him, but feared the people, for they knew that he had spoken the parable against them. And they left him and went their way. I don't know if you understand what the parable is saying, but I'm gonna I'm gonna try to tell you the way that it the way it is. Creator God build this earth he put people here yes before Adam and Eve and I will prove it to you so we're gonna go to Genesis and we're gonna go I think it's in two let me find it all right we're in verse 1 <laughs> and 26 and God said let us make man in our image after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowls of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. Now these are people, okay? Now Adam and Eve was not created, or Adam was not created, until chapter 2. And verse 7. So you can go read it. I need to check on the baby. Alright, so we're going to talk about before Adam. Okay? Before Adam. So, 
God said, okay, uh, Satan, I want you to take care of all that's going on here. Okay? Nothing is, you know, you don't have to do nothing. Just take care of everything that's going on. And then we'll bring, uh, I'll send somebody in to talk to you and find out how things, so he sends in Michael, no good. He sends in Gabriel, no good. Okay, so you know, you get to, so I'm going to send my son, Jesus Christ. Okay, you have Elijah, you have all these prophets. And what happens? Satan tries to destroy everything. Now think about it. Now this is my interpretation, as you can tell. Okay, so here they are. They're beating people, and all. Th now this is Satan and his minions, and also sent Jesus Christ. And what did they do? They killed Jesus Christ as well. All right. Um, I got a fessy one here. She is cutting teeth. All right. Let me go on. And they sent. And to him certain of the Pharisees and of the Hadrians to catch him in his words. And when they were come, they said unto him, Master, we know that thou art true and carest for no man, for thou regardest not at the person of man, but teachest the way of God in truth. Is it lawful to give tribute to Caesar or not? Shall we give, or shall we not give? But he knoweth their hypocrisy, and unto them, Why tempt ye me? Bring me a penny, that I may see it. Now you know he's already done seen a penny. He knows what a penny is. Alright, and they brought it. And he saith unto them, Who is this image and subscription? And they said unto him, Caesar. And Jesus answered and said, and to them, render to Caesar the things that are Caesar's, and to God the things that are God. Now let's just look at it. We to say Satan is the one that come up with this money deal. It's a factitious to control the people. All right, now what belongs to God? Your soul belongs to God. Okay. So everything that was made on this earth, sure, Jesus Christ ha and Creator God had something to do with it. it everything is in their control. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. And the reason why that everything is through the Creator God and Jesus Christ is because they control it. And it's going to bring Jesus Christ back to claim back His property. And what belongs to him. The earth. And your soul. Alright. No, don't make don't do that. Hang on. Okay, and they marveled at him. Then came unto him the Sadducees, which say, There is no resurrection. And they asked him, saying, Master, Moses wrote unto us, if a man's brother dies, and leave his wife behind him, and leave no children, that his brother should take his wife and raise up seed in his, unto his brother. Now, I don't remember ever reading that. Don't never, ever remember that. So here is a complete lie. Now there seven brethren, and the first took the wife, and lying, dying left no seed. And the seven took her and died. Neither left he any seed. And the third likewise. And the seven had her and left no seed. Least of all, the woman died also. In the resurrection, therefore, when they shall rise, whose wife shall she be of them? For the seven had her to wife. No, no, no. And Jesus answered and said to her, to them, Do you not therefore err, because you know not the scriptures, neither the power of God? Okay? So he's saying, What are you reading in this? <laughs> you know? I ain't what it says. 
Alright. For when they shall rise from the dead, they neither marry nor given in marriage, but are as the angels which are in heaven. And as touching the dead, that they arise. Have you not read in the book of Moses how the brush God spoke unto him, saying, I am the God of Abraham, and the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob? He is not the God of the dead, but the God of the living. Ye therefore do greatly err. Alright, so if you notice, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob are alive in the promised land. Or in heaven, however you want to look at it. That's what, But he isn't the dead. Alright. And one of the scribes came, and having heard them reason together, and proceeded, that he had answered them well, asking him, Which is the first commandment of all? And Jesus answered him, The first of all the commandments is, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind, and with all thy strength. This is the first commandment. And the second is like, namely this, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. There is none other commandment greater than these. So that's the two commandments. You love the Creator God, and you treat others as you want to be treated. Now the scribe said unto, unto him, Well, Master, thou hast said the truth, for there is one God, and there is one other but he, and to love him with all the heart, and with all the understanding, and with all thy soul, and with all thy strength, and to love his neighbor as himself is more than all the whole burnt offering and the sacrifice. And when Jesus saw that he answered directly, he said unto them, Thou art not far from the kingdom of God, and no man after that durst ask him any question. And Jesus answered and said, While he taught in the temple, how say the scribes that Christ is the son of David? For David himself said by the Holy Ghost, The Lord said to my Lord, Set thou on my right hand, till I make thy enemy thy footstool. So he's going to come back and he's going to make all these people that are doing wrong his footstool. David therefore, him, let's see, therefore himself called him Lord, and hence he then is son, and the common people heard him gladly. <laughs> and he said unto them, In his doctrine, Beware the scribes, which love to go in long clothes, and those sisters, see, salutations in the marketplace. And the chief sits in the synagogue in the uttermost room at feast. Now she, remember now, she's cutting teeth, which devour widows' houses, for the penitents make long prayers. Those shall receive greater damnation. You're going to cover her up. Thank you, Cadence. And Jesus sat over against the treasury. And behold, how the people cast money into the treasury. And many that were rich cast in much. And there came a certain poor widow. And she threw in two mites which make a farthing. And he called unto him his disciples and said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that this poor widow has cast more in than all they which have cast into the treasury. For all they did cast in of their abundance, but she of, of her want did cast in all that she had, even all her living. 
In other words, she put in the last two pennies that she had into the church. And that meant more than anything. He didn't say you got to give to the church first. He didn't he didn't say that. He loved the woman because she put in what she had left, not what she, what they said that she needed to put in. Y'all think about that. Where is your tithing coming from? How much is it? All right, I need to get off here and take care of the baby. Hug and kisses. How to donate to PayPal. You mash on poor man's sewing, and then you come up here, and you look for a belt, and you mash on a belt, and right here you hit on donate to poor man sewing. It's people like you that help me out, and it is really appreciated. And I hope you many blessings in this hard times that we are fixing to go through. A lot of hugs and kisses to you.